Hello, and Randy here playing Farming Simulator 22 on Elk Mountain, Wyoming. Our mining, logging, construction uh, series here. Got to include the logging with it now, too, right, everyone? Uh, speaking of logging, that's probably what we're going to be working on here this episode. And, of course, and in order to do some logging, everyone, I think we need some more equipment for that. Ah, we've sure been buying a lot of equipment here uh, lately. Hey, nothing wrong with that, right? So, anyway, speaking of equipment, everyone, I figured I was going to go with the, uh, the John Deere 959 here. Or 953. Actually, the two different uh, configurations here. You got the 953M and then the 959M. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what the entire difference here is. Um, you know, visually, obviously, 953 a little bit uh, lower down. You get the 959. It's uh, yeah, it's got some extra pieces in there. I guess I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of those are entirely. Go back. Oh, okay. I'm guessing everyone here. You get the 959, looks like it's designed to keep the, uh, uh, whatever you would call this assembly up here on level. I'm, at least I'm assuming that's what that does. So anyway, that's probably what we're going to go with. 400, whoa, $490,000 with the Wartaw uh, cutting head on it here. Let's go with that. Uh, if, if you get the John Deere, the only difference is it just it changes the paint color. That's literally the only difference. So um, I'm guessing in real life, I mean, there probably is, is more of a difference, I would think, but I'm not sure on that one. Between the Wartaw and the same, if you had a John Deere head. Okay, so anyway, got the truck up here ready to go, and hopefully that'll uh, fit on the truck. We're gonna haul this over to our uh, road construction site. So again, everyone, as a reminder, we're working on uh, building the road up here to uh, the uh, gold mine. Now there is already technically a road up there, but let's face it, it's way too long of a road uh, to get up there. So we're just gonna take the path of least resistance, right? The shortest path, straight line. And uh, build their own road. Probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense to do so, to be honest. But I want to say that's half the fun of the series here. So, oh, and I was hoping this would fit on here. This, uh, yeah, I don't think this is going to fit. I am going to need the other trailer, aren't I? Well, bummer. Like, I mean, if I really want to make this fit, I, mean, I probably could. I don't think we better, though. We had better get the other trailer. Okay, then, fine. So much that I figured with the, like, the tracks, maybe be a little bit narrow and fit on this trailer, but oh well. Let's hold that back up here then, and I'll have to go find the other trailer. I'm not entirely sure where the other trailer's at here. We'll just uh, oh, hello, that's a uh, concrete there. Oops, a little dent in the uh, the fender there. No one will notice. Nope, nothing to see there. Nothing to see there. Okay, let's just uh, leave that there. And I think, actually, it was the other truck over here. Maybe the other trucks. Nope, not seeing it over here. Oh, let's see. Where did I leave the other truck? Is it up here? I don't think it's up here either that I know of. Nothing, nothing. Nope. Okay, where did I leave the other truck? I mean, that is actually a very, very good question. I'm not entirely sure. Checking back down here. Doesn't appear to be down here uh, either. Huh, well, that's a good question. Is it? Oh, maybe it's over here. Nope, toolbox. That might be it. There we go. Okay, it is over here. I didn't realize it had it over here. Oh, we'll just drive this to the shop real quick then. After we uh, turn the sound, like, way down. Okay, maybe that was too much. Just can't uh, win sound-wise with the trucks I currently have. Can I have uh, yeah, The one truck has a jake brake that uh, comes on as soon as you let off the throttle. And this truck, well, it's just like way too loud. Oh my goodness, I mean, like when you compare it to the other trucks, I mean, this truck is just... Boy, she's a loud one. Oh, and we're still using the uh, custom modding trailer here yet, by the way, one. Um, from what I've been told in the comments here... If we get the Lizard branded one of this, that one, apparently it sounds like that one's a little more uh, reliable as far as function goes. Um, works with auto drive and all that uh, good stuff. Uh, I haven't done that yet, but I'm going to have to get the... Oh, overshot that one a little bit, didn't we? But I'm right. So yes, I'll have to look into uh, getting that one in here at some point, and then hopefully we can use auto drive with this uh, truck and trailer. Uh, again, there's something with the trailer that prevents it from being used with auto drive, which I don't quite understand. I don't know why or what. Ooh, can we make this turn? 
Um, questionable. Probably not. But we're gonna try to anyway. Now we're gonna get stuck here. Wow. Really? And apparently we are stuck here. I'm not sure what we're stuck on exactly, but it's a little weird. We'll just uh, we'll do that then. Oh, that's right. You know what? I just realized I forgot about that one. That's right. We got to load this one for the front anyway, so I'm not sure why I'm... I'm turning it around so we can uh, line up and back up to it. But yeah, we really don't need to do that with this one here, do we? Okay, let's just... Uh, yeah, we'll just back in like that. That should be pretty good. Disconnect. Uh, I think that's the right point. Yep, there we go. Always got to remember the difference between the two trailers. Yeah, one... Yep, this one here loads from the front side. The other one has the ramps on the back. Okay, now let's load our uh, John Deere tree-cutting uh, beast of a machine. Oh, let's see what's here. Can we do that? There we go. Oh, maybe not. That actually might not be the best solution. Maybe go out this way. We do have a bridge to go under here, everyone, so hopefully this will fit. There we go. And reconnect that. Off we go, everyone. Off we go. Oh yeah, that was another uh, change. Supposedly the Lizard one actually has straps as well. One, I know uh, several people in the comments said this trailer has straps. Uh, it does not have straps. I mean, we are going to get stuck here, aren't we? Stay there, car. I think we got stuck here last time too, didn't we? Oh, we're going to brush it a little bit. Just a little bit. I'll take that one. Are we clearing these light poles? It's a little close. Oh no, we got them cleared. Okay, cool. It's a wonder the uh, machine stayed on the trail for that wild ride. Oh, don't self uh, brakes on this truck. Yeah, they start sliding a little bit, don't they? Maybe we should go a little slower next time. Ah, who am I kidding? Everyone coming in hot. Okay, let's get this uh, disconnect here, everyone. Then we can actually start uh, cutting some trees down. Uh, again, everyone, the plan is we're probably just going to mulch up the small trees and the larger trees that we'll uh, cut down with this uh, machine here. I'll probably cut them to a little bit larger pieces here. I'm probably not going to go anything like too short. We'll do, I don't know, maybe like 10 meters or maybe longer. We'll see once here, everyone. Uh, again, typically if you're selling at trees, and then I'm assuming it hasn't changed here in 22. I don't know, maybe folks in the comments can let me know. But it used to be about uh, 6 to 8 meters, everyone, was you know, like your best sell price for logs. And I'm, I'm going to assume it probably hasn't changed a whole lot. But, uh, yeah, seeing as how we're not necessarily really going for that here, this uh, series, everyone, we're just going to probably cut them to a nice, a decent length, something that's easily manageable, and uh, it's not going to end up with, like, too many pieces, right? Okay, well, let's head up the mountain here. Uh, for those of you who didn't see a last episode, by the way, oh, let's uh, turn off course play here a minute. We don't need that on. Open the hood. Deactivate that. Yep. Uh, so yeah, anyway, like I was saying, for those who didn't see last episode, by the way, when we picked up a couple of new pieces of equipment for uh, begoning trees, shall we say. And then we also started uh, working on smoothing out our road here up to our mining location. We got, uh, let's see, how far did we get? I think we're up to... 
Are we up? I think we're up to the road over here. The orange road, I think, is how far we made it. Everyone, so we're... Yeah, about halfway, I would say, as far as the gravel goes here. Now, we do need to wind it out in a few spots. Uh, for the most part, I just went around the trees here at this point, Evan. So, yeah, now that we have this machine, we'll actually start uh, taking down some trees here. Okay, note to self, this machine is not particularly quick. Also, if I'm not mistaken here, if I turn... No, it doesn't actually keep the platform level, does it? I think that's supposed to be the purpose of this, everyone. Like the 959 versus the 953 here. If I recall correctly, I thought back in Farming Simulator 19, I mean, it actually did. I don't know if maybe there's some sort of setting we just need to turn on or what, but at least from what I remember, everyone, like I said, you go over a little bit of uneven terrain, so your tracks might be sitting, you know, at a different angle. Meanwhile, you're... And again, I'm not sure what you call this something like the platform up here would maintain level. Okay, that looks like, actually, you know what? There's a big tree right there we need to take down. That looks like a small one there. We'll probably just uh, mulch that one. Which, uh, by the way, for those of you, real quick, that one. For those of you who did not see last episode of the equipment we got, oh, do we have some good stuff for mulching up trees, Evan. Uh, first off, we got this uh, Turex 600. Yeah, you can pretty much just drive as fast as you want, Evan, and the trees will disappear. Yep, so, and, and when I say disappear, Evan, they're just, like, completely gone and deleted, right? There's no wood chips, no nothing. They're just gone. Same thing with this tool right here as well, Evan, the Tree Be Gone tool. The Tree Be Gone Mini, anyway. Uh, this one here goes on a skid steer. And pretty much the same as the uh, Turex, Evan. It pretty much just destroys trees as fast as you can uh, drive. Uh, again, no wood chips, no nothing. Just trees are gone. Uh, there is also the large version of that one, essentially. That one has, let's see, what's our forestry equipment here. So you got the regular Tree Be Gone one. And that, of course, that one attaches to uh, this Rinthoth Raptor 300 here. Or there's, of course, the modded one, too. I'm not really sure, other than color selectable, I don't know if there's really any difference between those two that I could tell. I think it's just pretty much color selectable. So, anyway, let's get to business, everyone. Let's get to business. You're not allowed to cut this tree. Why not? I do own this property, right? Maybe, uh, that maybe that's what, is that why? Uh, where exactly are we? Yeah, uh, yeah, we're not even on property own. Okay, that might be a problem, Evan. Interesting enough, it allows us to, uh, chop them down. But we're not allowed to, hmm. Let's see once here, Evan. I don't know if there's something we can change. Nope, that's not the one I was thinking of. I don't know if there's anything we can change on that or not. Like back in Farming Simulator 19, I mean, we had the mod, and I forget the name of the mod here right at the moment, but it would let us uh, change the option so we could just cut trees anywhere, essentially, right? I don't know if I have any mods that let me do that here at this point. Okay, you know what? Let's just see once here. I don't have a whole lot of money. Can we, um, can we borrow the money? We only need like 240000 See if we can borrow enough to just buy this property. When we're done, we could just maybe go up and sell it then. Okay, there we go. And uh, by the way, of course, Evan, the more property you own, the more you're allowed to borrow. So go ahead and buy that. Let's try that again. Oh, too, oh, too long. Wait, is the tree too large? Oh. Maybe that was our problem, Evan. Might not have been the uh, fact that we, uh, well, I think we're going to be mulching more trees than I thought we were going to be here than Evan. That tree's too big. What, like, what the heck? What's the point of this here then? That's an interesting message. I don't know if I've seen that one before, Evan, other than, you know, you get the non pine spruce tree type trees. Obviously, it doesn't cut those down, but.
Okay, 10 meters. Let's uh, give that a try. See how that looks. Oh, why are you turning at the... What? Come on now. Stop that. Oh, yep. That tree's gone. Next. I'll look out for the stump. Well, this might not actually work out as good as I thought it was. If this only works with, like, medium-sized trees here, um, what's the point? Also, this thing's slow. And let's turn our sound back up. Apologies about that, Onan. Just realized I never turned the sound up here. Now that we're not uh, driving that uh, hideously loud truck here anymore. Oh, there we go. Uh, I did cut that one. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to go try the other one again. Maybe there's just something else going on with that one. We got four pieces? Yeah, not quite four pieces. Well, three full pieces and a partial. Now, if we were able to uh, cut that down in eight meters, that one, if I remember correctly, that will give you like four really nice uh, pieces. You'll get two like big pieces, one a little bit small, and of course, the last one, just kind of the uh, small top of the tree there. Used to be how it was back in farming, similar the 19. So, you know, you cut four, four or five. I think it was usually four. It was about the perfect amount you could get. I'm a good sized uh, tree. There we go. Now it's cutting. I don't know why I didn't want to cut a few moments ago, but. And of course, now that we're doing this, we're going to have to have something to uh, pick these uh, logs up with here. That is actually a good question. I mean, I don't believe my uh, favorite log forks are... I don't know. I, maybe they are for 22. I'm not sure. They might be available. I just don't have them, I don't think. And those are always... I think it was the Stoll log forks, if I remember correctly. Evan. I might have to go look at them and see if I can uh, find those. Because, uh, yes, when it came to log forks, I mean, those are definitely my favorite. Uh, they were a little bit wider, so let you really grab the logs well. And I don't know, just uh, something about them. I mean, they always really, uh, you could like grab a couple of logs with them and they usually work out quite nicely. Put it on the front of like a telehandler or something or you know, front loader as well if you want something a little bit bigger. Telehandlers were usually a little bit light in the rear ends there. Especially if you started grabbing a couple of the larger ones. Uh, yes, just out of curiosity, what do I have? And like I said, I don't think I have the stole log forks, which are always my favorite. Let's see, let's check on our telehandler tools here. Yeah, we just got that hideous thing, which I, if I had to guess, I mean, it probably doesn't work very well. I haven't tried it here in 19, but probably doesn't work worth a... <clears throat> um, so, yeah, yeah, for those of you, the stole log forks or something like this, just a, you know, a much bigger version, right, for actually for logs. Or, again, similar to this one, I just had double forks, so double spots to clamp down on. Worked, worked much, much better. I, yeah. Like, Giants actually even uses this crap. I mean, this one here, too. Yeah. It's probably better than the other one, but still doesn't work very well either. Okay, I'm going to say this tree here looks like it might be in the way. Uh, again, we're going to be making the road quite a bit wider, that one, so... There we go. A little bit uh, finicky with that one. Trying to get that one cut. Oh, let's see. Do we want to... Yeah, I guess I'll hold it down here. If you're going to pick the logs up, Evan, at least in my opinion, it works best if you can kind of try to keep them all in like a post pile. And of 
course, there are tools that are supposed to let you do that. Yeah, again, I want a farming simulator and uh, some of the stuff. Actually, I don't do we even have one. Not really. I think it's a, it's a fellow buncher. Oh, here we go, Alvin. There we go. There's one. Yep, this will uh, pick up a couple logs, haul them to one spot, that type of thing. So there's one. That was close. Oh, why it tries a swing like that? That's kind of annoying. Okay, up the hill we go. Very slowly, I might add. This is definitely no uh, fast machine, is it? Oh yeah. Uh, speaking of not a fast machine, you know what? I think it's time to read some comments, right? Let me load up some comments here a moment. go. And uh, going to the comments here. Whoa, hello. Start. I just keep doing that. That's kind of annoying, that one. Get down to the last one and it's just like, hello, let's head straight for the operator's cab here. Uh, anyway, I was about to read the uh, comment here. When, uh, Timbo was saying, if I remember right, FS Miner uh, said something one day about make sure you get the attachments for your equipment that support Terraform. Uh, and yes, that is very true. And that's something I've complained about before, too. I've been like, uh, when you're buying the equipment here, how do you tell when, if it supports Terraform or not, right? Nope. Oh, spring loaded there. Yeah. So yeah, like I was saying, how do you tell? Like when you're in the shop, there, there's really no way to tell if it supports Terraform or not. And at least in my opinion, there's probably a couple of different things you could do about that. One, the mod authors could just maybe put some sort of icon or something. Hey, supports Terraform, that'd be kind of nice, right? Or maybe even uh, Giants could do something with the various other mods. You know, this mod supports that, that mod supports that. That would definitely be a, kind of a nice addition if you ask me. Uh, Hatcher was saying maybe we could get some uh, dynamite from the mod hub. Yeah, I don't think we'll be seeing any uh, dynamite mods. That one, that does not uh, seem like, uh, oh, boy, really. Take the mulcher to that one, everyone. Nice to see uh, the, the logging hasn't really improved here in Farming Simulator, has it? Again, I don't know why it keeps pivoting towards. It, it's basically aiming right for the operator's cap, isn't it? Hmm trying to tell me something. No, I ain't listening. There we go, finally. Oh, and finicky as usual when it comes to uh, actually being able to cut the tree, right? That means that this is a modded one. Uh, sometimes the in-game stuff actually does work a little bit better. At least that's always been my experience, usually. Okay, cut straight. Let's see where this one goes. Yeah, look at that. It just, like, pivots right around, right? And uh, by the way, the only reason it's pivoting back straight is because I'm uh, like very quickly trying to like, whoa, pivot that back around. Turn that head. Sometimes too, I might just be a little bit uh, too low down. 
Uh, again, I mean, I can't uh, speak too much about Farming Simulator 22 here because this is actually my first time really doing any forestry in the game. Uh, but again, back in 19, everyone, if you cut a little too low to the ground, the game just won't let you. It just, yeah, you can only cut so low, right? It still essentially have to be uh, what feels like maybe, you know, a foot or two off the ground, basically. And again, that kind of depends on the tree. Yeah, I see you heading right to the uh, cab there, whatever it's trying to do. I don't know if that's just something with this uh, machine, everyone, or just, uh, I don't know, just the way it is, maybe. Not sure. Okay, looks like I'm seeing about another three trees right up ahead here. I think we'll just uh, start cutting them right up here. Try to create a couple little piles here. I don't want to, like, you know, every single tree be a pile, but I don't want to drive too far either, right? Come on. I know work. Yeah, this one's really being a bugger, isn't it? What in the world? Come on now. Oh, okay. Don't know what's up with that one. That one does not want to cut for some reason. And I don't think I'm, I can get on there any better than that. I mean, we're like, yeah, we're on that solid. Don't know, one. Don't know. That one might just have to be a mulch tree then or something. Uh, well, let's, let's try one more time here. Nope. Oh, there we go. No, oh, I might have just been too low, of one. Might have been too low. Uh, again, everyone, it does have to do with how the mod author puts the tree down uh, as well. So if the tree's like a little bit higher up out of the ground than, say, some of the other trees are... I have to cut it up higher. I guess maybe I should have guessed that, but. Nice three pieces out of that one. Timber. That piece is probably hardly worth it. Oh well. There we go. That one off the tracks there. Oh, let's see. So what do we got? Uh, debating everyone if that one on that side is going. I think we're okay with that. And then one of the uh, future episodes, I'm going to have to look into how we're going to haul these down out of here. Haven't uh, quite got that far here yet. We'll, we'll have to see once everyone, again, like I said, one of my favorite uh, methods was the stole log forks, but I don't have those. But maybe I'll look into a different uh, solution. Why you no turn? There we go. No matter what direction I went, I'm going to just spun the same track each time. Oh, that great big piece trying to head right towards, again, it seems like it's headed right towards the operator station, Evan. That's what it's trying to do. Uh, 
Okay, further up the mountain. We're getting there, everyone. We're getting there. I actually some pretty good progress here, if I do say so myself. Got some stumps we need to grind out here. And yeah, it's not like we're taking down a whole lot of trees. I'm just, uh, oh, I don't know. What do we got? Like maybe 10 trees down here or so, something like that so far. All right, I'll try that one again. Started to work, Evan, and then I think I moved a little too much. And it failed it. Oh, well. Oh, hello. Stop turning. Usually you don't turn on the first one like that. This one's going to go way that way. Wow, okay. That one's just going to fall off. Really? Really loving the forest, Evan. Really loving the forestry. Uh, yes. Good stuff, Evan. Good stuff. Makes you wonder, I'm mean, like, uh, Giants, do you actually ever, like, try playing your own game when it comes to forestry? You know, you should really try it sometime. Uh, we'll see how many four-letter dictionaries they need to play their own game when it comes to forestry. Probably going to be a lot. Anyway, I've been looking at the time. It looks like it is time to wrap it up here this episode. So with that, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And as always, Evan, thanks for watching, and until next time.